Good morning, Syntax. As you already know, I've been loving watching the Taskmaster series these days, and uh, I thought for today's video, I would try to participate in slash recreate some of the Taskmaster tasks, and um, I'll let you be the task mistress to judge me. This is the first task I'm trying to recreate. Yes, and we've got some fast fiction for you. Oh. Hi, Alex. Hello, James. Write a ten-word story before you reach the finish line. You must be running while writing. Must be. Shoot! From looking at the video footage, it seems like from the start to the finish line, um, it's about 10 meters, let's say. Uh, my estimation is probably not all that accurate. And I only have this space to work with. Um, again, from an estimation from this end of the room to the other end of the room, it's um, maybe about two and a half or three meters. Um, so let's say I have the time to do, if it's two and a half of the time to do four back and forth trip from one end of the room to the other end while writing this 10 word sto story. And the stopwatch starts now. Okay, a 10 word story. Uh, I don't know how many tricks I ran. <laughs> Okay. Oh, ten word story. I'm very dizzy now. Let me present my story. It took me a minute and eleven seconds, um, but I would argue it's not fair because I have to not only count the amount of words but also count how many times I've been running back and forth. And uh, I'm pretty confident to say that I did not run the accurate amount of distance. And my story is. As you, as you can hear, Maggie is barking outside because Julia is currently in the kitchen and not in the same room as her, and she's getting pretty anxious. So that's all I can think about when I'm running back and forth in circles and writing this, uh, writing this story here. So here's my story. Maggie misses Julia, but Julia is, support is surprising her with treats. I know it's not that good of a story. I don't know if it has a beginning or an end or anything, but that's all I can come up with. Also, isn't this just my best handwriting that you have ever seen? And I think that's 10 words. Yeah, 10 words. Perfect. All right, next task. Ask them to bring in their least appropriate accessory for a wedding. <laughs> Task mistress, I'm here to submit my entry for the least appropriate wedding accessory, and for me, that is a VR headset. Um, hear me out. Not only are you where are you taking this uh, VR headset with you to the wedding, you're also going to wear it the whole time, except for the times where you know you need to walk around and greet people, right? Especially in the most touching part of the wedding, put it on. Put on some VR games uh, with your controllers in hand. You can just slash your enemies around in your imaginary world. I think that's pro pretty inappropriate for a wedding. Let me know what you think. And here is my third task. Fill an egg cup with as many toes as possible. You have 20 minutes. So for the third task, am I going to use the full 20 minute or not? I don't think I will, uh, to be completely honest with you. Let's say I have about five minutes to complete this task, and I fully expect myself not being able to do much. Here we go. I'm gonna put on some music. That's it. That's my attempt. Would have known trying to get an emotional cry when you're being recorded is so hard. Now I know why the other folks go with onions and other people with onions. <sighs> I'm sorry, task mistress. I'm pretty sure I failed this task, but I still hope you had a good time watching this. And um, I'll see you next week. Bye, Syntax.